which drywall tapes are best for repairs, remodels, and new installations. The first tape I was going to talk about was the classic paper tape. Um, I'll just go over the pros first and then I'll talk about the cons. The pros are it's cheap. People have been using the paper tape for many years. All the old timers love it. It's hard to get old timers to switch and try new products because they just keep doing the same thing. You know, they don't switch uh, compounds or anything like that. So it works in all the auto tools and it's great for 90 degree corners or angles, whatever you want to call them. It's easy to, easy to tear. You don't need any tools or a knife or anything like that. And it has a crease in the middle, which makes it really good for the corners. You get a real crisp, clean corner. You just can fold it and it's like a perfect corner every time. I love the paper tape for corners. I don't, you really use it for anything else. Um, some of the cons, it bl blisters and bubbles easy when you go to bed it. If you don't do it right or get enough mud behind it, you're going to get a blister or a bubble, which leads to humps and bumps. So that's one thing I don't like about it. It isn't good for repairs. I never use paper tape on repairs. It's just kind of hard to work with on a repair and get it nice and flat. And I don't like to use it with hot mud. I, I either use a fiberglass mesh tape or a fiber fuse with hot mud. So those are the cons with the classic paper tape. Then we get into the fiberglass mesh tape, which I pretty much only use for repairs. And one thing you need to know is you only use it with a hot mud or quick setting mud. People complain about it cracking all the time and they hate it. But the problem is if you read the directions, which a lot of people don't read directions, it says to use the manufacturers tell you to use it with a hot mud or quick set mud. If you use it with a premix, it's going to crack on you. The good things about this is it lays real flat. You don't have to bed it first. So you stick it to the drywall or the repair. So it's going to be nice and flat opposed to the paper tape, which you have to put the joint compound down and then put the tape in. So if you don't have enough joint compound, you're going to get the bubbles and blisters that I talked about. Um, super fast to apply. And like I said, because it lays flat, you get less joint humps. So fiberglass mesh tape. The thing is you have to either use your um, taping knife to cut it or a razor knife to cut it. It doesn't just tear off the roll like uh, the paper tape does. Some of the cons, uh, you have to use the hot mud, which is a powder form of joint compound. So a lot of people don't want to take the time and mix it up and then they end up using the premix and you get cracks. Um, if you sand through it, again, you lose all the strength. It's pretty strong if you use the right muds with it, like the quick sets. And you can't use this in auto tools or banjos, really. I mean, some people say you can, but I would never run hot mud through my auto tools or my banjo. So I, I always use the paper tape for that. So that's the pros and cons of the um, fiberglass mesh tape. Another thing I like to always, if I'm using it, fold it over the roll so it's kind of hanging off. Because if you put it back on there, I'm sure you guys know or gals know that it's hard to find the end again. So you can struggle with that. So always lay it over the roll so you can grab it and go easily. All right, I'm gonna get into my favorite drywall tape, which is the Fiber Fuse. It just came out a few years ago. A lot of people still don't know about it. Let's see if you can see it. It's a fiberglass matte drywall tape, not a, a mesh, it's a matte. And it absorbs the joint compound really nice. Um, it's easy to use. You can use it with hot mud or premix. 
which is nice. So if you're doing a big job, like with new drywall, you can just go with this with the pre-mix and not worry about the fuss or muss with mixing up the hot mud or quick set. Also, it's perfect for repairs. My last video I put out was a ceiling repair and it just lays so flat. You don't have to worry about getting humps or bumps because it lays super flat. It's great for butt joints on new drywall, on remodels, and also when you do a repair, it's basically like four butt joints. So I love this stuff, super strong. You can actually even sand through it, not all the way, the whole piece, but if you sand through it a little bit, it still keeps its strength because it bonds as one with the joint compound. So love the fiber fuse. Here's the thing. The cons for the fiber fuse is it's, it irritates you. It puts out fiberglass particles. So what you need to do is wear safety glasses or goggles with that. And also a two strap dust mask or sanding mask because you don't want to breathe the particles that it puts out. It also irritates your skin and can make you itchy. I don't really have a problem with that, but a lot of people report that they have uh, itchiness, irritated throat, itchy eyes. Because if you put out the tape and then go touch your eyes or anything, you can get the particles in your eyes. So that's one of the downfalls with the uh, Fiber fuse. Definitely wear all your safety equipment and you'll be fine. Some people say I don't feel a thing. I can feel it in my throat sometimes. And if you touch your eyes, you're going to feel it in your eyes as well. So that's the only downfall with fiber fuse is the itchiness and irritants that go along with it. But other than that, this is my favorite tape. Now, when I do this on a, a new install or a remodel that's got a bunch of sheets of drywall i don't use it in the corners i use the um, paper tape again just so i can get the nice crisp corner now uh i just like the paper tape i guess i'm kind of old school on that one but i get a perfect corner every time let me know in the comments to use the paper tape thank you so much for coming in everyone have a great day Peace. And if you're new to the channel, my name's Paul and I've been a drywall and painting contractor for over 20 years. If you're looking to step up your drywall, texturing, or painting game, be sure to hit that subscribe button in the center of the screen now to keep up with all my latest videos. Look me up on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Thanks so much for watching.